Hi, it's Caitlin and I'm here with some holo taco combos that kind of blew my mind. I did receive the new fire and ice bundle as PR a couple weeks ago and I've been playing around with different combinations with different toppers and bases and also other toppers that I have from Holo Taco that are not the toppers from the Fire and Ice bundle. I just think Holo Taco does a great job of layerability with their polishes. There's just so many ways you can combine their polishes to create new looks, but you don't necessarily have to buy more polish. So I appreciate that. And honestly, if you know me, you know that I love toppers. And so I have nothing but Good things to say about the three new shimmer toppers in this bundle. So if you're here to see some exciting new topper and base combos that you can try out, then let's just get into it. Let's start off with the creams in the bundle. So first up is Hot Take, and this one, as you can see from the bottle, is a red cream, but this one is an orange-leaning red cream. It's incredibly vibrant and not really neon but it almost gives that impression on the nail it's just a really impressive red as you can see it goes on beautifully in just one coat and if you are planning on putting one of these shimmer toppers in the bundle on your nails over top of the red then i think you could leave it in one coat but if you're going to wear it on its own i'd recommend two coats I also apologize for the terrible painting job. I don't usually film my three fingers, so it was just really awkward for me because I had to move my arm in a different way than I usually do because I had to adjust things to get three fingers in view instead of just two. But any anyway, you can still see it goes on beautifully. It self-levels perfectly. It dries down shiny, but you definitely want a glossy top coat to make it stand out and be as beautiful as possible and the other cream in the bundle is cold slate and this one is described as a steel blue gray and this also has a fantastic formula i would describe both of them as being on the crellier side of a cream they're sort of not that like pasty chalky thick cream i can't describe it I, I think it's making more sense in my head than when it's coming out not that creams are chalky but it just has this fluidity to it that gives it just something extra special which is what i look for in a cream i really like the formula on this one as well this one I will recommend building up in two coats just to get it fully opaque and you'll also notice that it dries down a touch darker than when it initially applies. It's also a really unique shade of gray. It sometimes looks a bit blue, it does sometimes look gray depending on the lighting and as you're going to see it makes a fantastic base for the shimmer toppers. So we're starting with Freezer Burn which is absolutely stunning. This one is described as a bold blue iridescent shimmer. It shows off shifts of yellow, leaning into gold, green, and purple, depending on the angle. And I wanted to show it in a few ways. So first on my index finger, you're going to see it built up on its own over my bare nail. And on my middle finger, I'm building it up over a white base coat. So that exact polish that I'm using is the Polished for Days Soft Focus base coat in snow. But you could also use a ridge filling base coat. I wanted to see what kind of squishy look I could get. And I was pleasantly surprised. But I was also pleasantly surprised by how nicely this built up on its own. Obviously, it's not going to cover my visible nail line, but if you've been here before, you'll know that I'm not afraid of visible nail line. And next up, I'm showing you Freezer Burn over Cold Slate. And this one really brings out the 
blue tones in the topper. Obviously, these toppers are going to look differently depending on what you layer it over. And here I'm seeing mostly purple and blue. And last but not least, we're applying this one over Freezer Burn, which probably and hopefully will blow your mind in the way that it blew mine. It basically turns Hot Take into this almost magenta bright pink, and I think it is absolutely gorgeous. You can see more of that bluey purple shift when you layer it over a cream versus wearing it on its own, wearing it on its own or over a white, you see more of that yellow gold. As you can see here, it's kind of a freaky sped up version, but I didn't want to bore you with my hand moving around slowly forever because I've got a lot to show you. But you can really see the purple shifts and the blue shifts and some of that yellow and it looks a little different depending on which polish it's layered over. Next up we have Freezer Burn and I wanted to combine the Manny I just did but apply Sonic Unicorn Skin over top of Freezer Burn because I thought that they were kind of like sibling toppers they have similar color shifts, and I just was curious how it would look all together. So right off the bat, I am obsessed because I do love unicorn skin toppers, and I like how these iridescent toppers kind of mimic the effect of the flakes, but just in a more consistent way. Again, here is my... Manny with the unicorn skin added, it gives this really subtle effect, which is what I like. It kind of combines in with the freezer burn topper and it just creates this really beautiful flash depending on how you catch your nails. I think it's a really fun way to sort of jazz it up and I particularly like it over my first two nails where it kind of looks like an opal. Moving along, we have Scorched Earth, and this one is also beautiful. Um, I would, I don't know, I do have a favorite, and I'll save that for the end, but I did genuinely love all of these toppers, and this one is described as an iridescent red-orange shimmer, and when I'm looking at it in the bottle, this one has like a slightly... I want to say a slightly larger shimmer particle than freezer burn, if that makes sense. It also has a similar golden shift, but you get a bit more orange in this one. And I don't know, these are just so complex. It's like hard to describe it unless you're seeing it on the camera. I mean, I've done a really good job, I think, of capturing the accuracy of how these look. And you can see that this one has hints of red in it. And you can see what I mean, hopefully, about the shimmer particle size being slightly larger than Freezer Burn, which I think is fun. It creates a different effect. I loved it over the lighter colors and my bare nail. And here over Cold Slate, you definitely see the red. And you can see how the larger shimmer particle size kind of creates a sparklier effect. Over the red, I think it's beautiful. It just kind of integrates really nicely. And here you can see some of those shifts in this polish. It's definitely giving more of an orange effect than the previous polish. The yellow is there, kind of pinky in certain lighting. And hopefully you can see what I mean about the particle size and the sparkliness of the topper in and of itself. And I wanted to show this one with Linear Hollow Taco. And I just kind of went wild with this one layering different things. But this is Scorched Earth, which in comparison to Freezer Burn 
you can see over my bare nail, it gives more of a bluey tint versus the yellow that you saw with freezer burn. And the linear hollow taco, I thought just integrated beautifully with the polish. It's like getting really close on my middle nail to being a white hollow, which is one of my favorite looks. And I thought it was really fun. It didn't make anything look silver. It just looks beautiful. So here it is over cold slate. Hopefully you can see what I mean about it integrating beautifully. It's like the hollow was meant to be there. And I do think that this combination of scorched earth and hot take is really pretty. But adding that linear hollow to it just obviously takes it to the next level because who doesn't love a little bit of hollow? There was like barely any sun on the day when I filmed this, but hopefully you can still see what I mean. And I wasn't done with scorched earth and the linear hollow taco. I wanted to add solar unicorn skin on top of everything because just like freezer burn and the other unicorn skin, which my brain seems to have forgotten the name of, I thought that solar was kind of the unicorn skin equivalent of scorched earth. And I wasn't really wrong. It has similar shifts a little more green in solar than scorched earth but i thought it still worked beautifully and the thing about unicorn skins that i love so much is the shiftiness of the flakes but thankfully if you're not a fan of flakes then these new iridescent shimmer toppers give that same incredible shift in a more smooth and uniform way if you're not a fan of the way flakes kind of just sit there on the nail. I personally love flakes, but I know it's not for everybody. So here you can see what I mean. Solar does kind of mimic the shifts of scorched earth. And last but not least, we're going to do some layering and combos with halogen glow and then after i'm done this i'm going to show all of the toppers over the cream so you can see how different they are for comparison so halogen glow is definitely the green shifting iridescent topper in comparison to the other ones it's like on the website described as yellow pink green and you definitely get that, I would say. There's also blue and a touch of purple at the edges, depending on which way you shift your hand. But as you can see on my naked nail, the cast of the polish is overall, to me, looking pink. So I personally really like that. If I was planning on wearing any of these on their own, it would probably be halogen glow on its own. I just liked the look of that the best on my nude nail. And as you can see on my middle finger this time, I used the soft focus base coat in snow, but I put on two layers of it. So it looks a more squishy and white. And this is definitely giving an opal vibe. And then when you put halogen glow over cold slate, the pink is what stood out mostly for me, at least in this direct lighting, the pink and a bit of yellow. And I did layer this one in two coats. I thought it just kind of punched up the shimmer effect, but if you do just one layer of the shimmer topper, it's obviously going to create a softer shift and shimmer effect. So that's what I did on my pinky. And here you can see what I mean about the green being prominent as well as the pink. I personally really like this one over Cold Slate. I thought it brought out the green and it just complemented the gray really nicely. But 
I think applying this one on its own on my index nail is my clear favorite way to wear it. And for funsies, I'm layering halogen glow and scattered hollow taco over top. I love scattered hollow taco and I thought that this would be a fun one to pair over this. I would also like to note that halogen glow also has a bit of a larger particle shimmer in it than freezer burn. I think freezer burn is the smallest particle size shimmer out of the three, but I could be wrong, but that's what I'm seeing. And hopefully you love this combo as much as I do, but I think it is beautiful with scattered hollow taco over top. I personally just really enjoy watching these toppers being applied. I think it's very soothing and I am made the video myself, so hopefully you're enjoying it too. I have to say that I love how Hollow Taco uses a clear bristle brush for their toppers. I think it's just really satisfying to watch it get applied that way. And thankfully the sun came out for a moment so you can see all the pretty rainbows that you get from scattered hollow taco over top of halogen glow. And just to keep going, I'm layering lunar unicorn skin over halogen glow and the scattered hollow taco. Again, I thought lunar was maybe comparable to halogen glow at least with the pinkiness and the green and a bit of yellow i always go back and forth between lunar and solar unicorn skins as my favorite but i don't need to choose i love them both equally lunar definitely has larger flakes sizes than solar so it depends on what you like if you want a more subtle look i recommend solar but lunar is definitely punchy and vibrant and I absolutely love it over Cold Slate. I think it looks like a party on that nail. And if you're into sort of an opalescent ethereal look, I'd recommend what I did on my first two nails, either laying, or either layering it over a white or over your bare nail. I think it just creates such a pretty effect. And now for just the sake of doing it, I wanted to show all of the different toppers over the cream so you can see how different they are and how they change the look of your manicure over the exact same polish. So as I mentioned earlier, when you use freezer burn together with hot take it just creates this almost magenta finish which i think is super beautiful and halogen glow definitely stands out with the particle size and scorched earth combined with hot take to me is the most i don't know how to describe it to me it's like the most logical pairing if you're going for like a fully integrated look but Freezer Burn is definitely my favorite combination with Hot Take, that is. So I also wanted to show how things change when you apply two coats versus one. I'm curious what you think if you're preferring these with one layer of the topper or two. So on my pinky, I just duplicated what I did with my index. But here you can see how all the shifts show up over the base color. I honestly can't get over how Freezer Burn turned hot take pink. Like it's just science and color theory and I love it. I love the green shift that you're seeing in Scorched Earth and the orange shift in Halogen Glow. It really just is a matter of taste and what you like. And of course these are super sparkly in the sun which I really like. You don't always need hollow to get sparkle. 
these definitely have a sparkle factor to them without any hollow at all. So you can get your sparkle fix still. And now I am showing these toppers over Cold Slate, which gives you, again, totally different look depending on how you combine these. I think Freezer Burn works really well if you're trying to keep it subtle and just like a hint of color that's kind of complementary without really changing the base color of Cold Slate. But as you can see, applying Scorched Earth on my middle finger it's definitely a bolder look and you're getting a different take on cold slate it changes it as does halogen glow it just totally changes up the look of the polish when you layer it which is why i love toppers if you haven't seen my topper video i highly recommend that you check it out i'll link it in the cards it's one of my favorite videos because i love toppers and Hopefully you understand why after watching this video, it just changes the polish in such a fun way. So again, you can see the shifts here. Scorched Earth has got the green shift happening at extreme angles. Freezer Burn is pretty consistently blue or purple. Halogen Glow has got that red and gold to it. I just think that you could probably do a skittle over black with each of these toppers and it would create like a different look on each one of your nails. I can't wait to play more with all of these toppers over different bases. Honestly, the possibilities are endless, so I'm very curious to hear in the comments what your favorite combos are. I do have one special one left, which you may have seen if you watched my Hollow Taco 4th Anniversary Swatch video, but Antihero was one of my favorite polishes from the Hollow Taco Limited Edition Anniversary Collection. I've also got a video for that on my channel if you want to check it out. And the combination of Antihero topped with Freezer Burn, someone dubbed in the comments Antifreeze, which I think is absolutely brilliant. And I love how this turned out. I just think it is so fun, so pretty, and it's like complimentary, but also shifty. It changes up the look of Antihero. And honestly, I'm going to be putting Freezer Burn over pretty much everything because I'm obsessed with that blue glow of the shimmer. I just love it. So that was a lot of different combinations, but one of them stood out to me as the most exciting, and that was Hot Take topped with Freezer Burn. It turned it into like the most gorgeous magenta pink shade, and honestly, I love it so much. So that is definitely a standout for me, but honestly, all three of the toppers are so beautiful. I kind of just want to keep layering them on different polishes. I really, really love sheer type polishes and I feel like these shimmer toppers are just gonna look incredible over like a squishy jelly base. So let me know in the comments what you thought of these combinations. Let me know if you're going to recreate any of them yourself and let me know if you've picked up these new shimmer toppers. I do really think they're worth checking out if you're into shimmers. I guess that's everything for today. Hopefully I'll see you in my next video and hopefully you have a great day. Bye.